Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here with another quick tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how to hold yourself if the Windows Audio Device Graph Isolation process is taking up an uh, unusual amount of CPU or memory usage on your Windows computer. So this should hopefully be a pretty straightforward process. And without further ado, let's go ahead and jump right into it. So we're going to start by right clicking on our taskbar and then select Task Manager. Want to select the process tab if it's not the default tab, and we're going to go and just sort by alphabetically here, or you could do reverse alphabetical search as well. And we want to go ahead and locate the Windows Audio Device Graph Isolation here. Now you want to open up the Start menu, type in Control Panel. That's match to come back to Control Panel. Go ahead and lock on that. You can also minimize out of the Task Manager as well, and you want to set your view by to either large or small icons, and then select the Sound option. Whatever current option you have on your playback, so whatever device you're currently using, you want to left click on that and then select properties. Select the enhancements tab. Check mark where it says disable all enhancements. And then left click on apply and OK. Once you're done with that, select OK again and go back in the task manager and see if that lowers your memory usage for that particular process here which we can see if we go right to the Windows Audio Device Graph Isolation it's barely taking up anything, it's only about 1 megabyte of RAM and 0% CPU so pretty straightforward process here guys do hope I was able to help you out and I do look forward to catching you all in the next tutorial goodbye